Tide won the toss, deferred to the second half. So Northern Illinois will get the football. The first meeting between these two teams is Kyle Robinson set to kick it away for Alabama. Lionel Hickenbottom and Randy Drew, the twin deep men. Hickenbottom drifting back five yards deep. Thought about bringing it out, but will eventually take a knee. Second down and a long nine for NIU. Turner again, the handoff, weaving his way through the Alabama defense. A nice pickup on second and long. He'll be about a yard shy of the first down as Anthony Madison there to get him to the ground. Turner, right up the gut, will have the first down as he crosses the 31-yard line. Antoine Odom, the junior out of Bayou Labatry. Teams have been trying to stack the line against NIU. Aldi to throw for the first time. Finds his man across the way. Complete to Keith Perry. Averaging about 42 yards, a kick. Shawn Williams drifting back to his 17-yard line and good coverage by the Huskies. And Shawn Williams, the lone setback. Gets the call, finds some running room. Bounces off tacklers, ridden out of bounds around the 35-yard line. Averaging about 15 yards a return so far this season. Freeland, a beautiful kick. Field at the seven, and Sheldon is absolutely level right there. Well, it is, uh, especially when you got a son playing. <laughs> Talk about the young man, Tim. I know somebody you're very proud of, as you are your entire family, but in his freshman year, getting a lot of playing time. Yeah, and you know what just come from Tim is put in a lot. He put in a lot of work during the offseason, and that was one of his goals, come down and play and start. And, uh, Shawd Williams awaits the punt from Anthony Gallagher, a 43-yard punt. His first time hangs this one up high. Williams somehow gets out of trouble. Flags fly as Shawd steps out of bounds on the Alabama sideline around the 35. So check the markers. The Husky punt returner. First down for Alabama. They'll set up shop at the 18-yard line after the penalty. Ray Hudson into the game. Finds some room outside. Dives near the 30-yard line, and that'll be good for a first down. Good to see him back in there. He didn't play last week after getting banged up in the loss to Oklahoma. Coyle down the middle. Complete to Dre Fulgham. He'll take it into Husky territory at the 49. Second down and 10 as we tick under five minutes to go in a scoreless first quarter. Coyle rifles it complete to David Cabin along the near side. Makes one man miss, barrels inside the 40 before Duffy again able to make the tackle. At the Husky 38. A little misdirection to Sean Williams who was very close. To a big, big game. Just tripped up by Rob Lee. Second and short. Give it to Williams again. Trying to follow the block of Dennis Alexander. Takes it inside the 30, close to another first down. So for him to step in and do a great job, we shouldn't be surprised. Play action for Coyle. Good protection. Looking in the end zone, and it is up for a touchdown. Zach Fletcher went up high to bring that one in. And Alabama takes the early lead. Here's Brian Bostic to add the extra point, and it's blocked. Huskies come away with it, and still loose. And heading down the sidelines for possibly two points, Kevin Woods. He will take it in. And that changes things very quickly. I think Martin Wilson, the man that may have gotten the block. Aldi hit as he throws. Pass caught, though, by P.J. Fleck on the near side. Roman Harper laid the lumber for Josh Haldy that time. Third and short. Turner cuts it up, has the first down and more. 
will move the pile out near the 24-yard line. Aldi bobbled the snap. Guns it complete again to P.J. Fleck across the way. It's popped out of bounds by Charlie Pepro. Turner hit in the backfield, gets away, and will pick up the first down. Quick throw, pass caught by Keith Perry. Ridden down as he crosses the 45, and that will be good for the first down. Roman Harper on the stop. They played an excellent first quarter, and here early in the second quarter, they're, they're playing good. Give it back to Turner, who returns, slips a tackle. We'll take it into Alabama territory. Ridden down by Roman Harper. On second down, they'll give it to Turner. Slips another tackle. Able to keep his feet to about the 42-yard line before Charles Jones gets him to the ground. Steve Azar on to a try, a 51-yard field goal. He's two for four this year, and he's connected from 52. He's got plenty of leg, and it's good. 51-yard field goal by Steve Azar, the senior from Colorado Springs. Alabama football. Coyle eludes trouble and will pick up the first down. Shades of Tyler Watts scrambling for 11 yards. Third and long for Alabama. They'll say Darby lost a yard. Husky show blitz. Coyle again eludes trouble. Going deep. Fulgen to the 25. Bostic on now to try a 35-yard field goal. Out of the hold of Gabe Jardina. Nice snap. Jardina gets it down, and Bostic bangs it through. Gallagher to punt it away to Shawd Williams, who's already returned one this year for a touchdown. Low tumbling kick. Touched around the 50-yard line by NIU. Second and long as Castile checks back in at the F spot. Four flips that one complete to Williams. Coming out of the Alabama backfield and he's close to the first down marker. Nice job by Coyle just to find him in all that traffic. It does set up third and inches. Quarterback sneak. And a first down for Alabama. Yardage, Bama really picking up where it left off last week against Kentucky. Williams shakes a man outside as a flag flies. The foul is holding by the offense. Penalty is 10 yards from the spot of the foul, followed by a repeat of the first down. <laughs> Freeland back into punt. It may have been blocked. Goes straight up in the air and caught by Alabama. It'll go out of bounds around the 42-43 yard line. They've got it at the Alabama 43 to start this drive. Paulie completes it across the way to Fleck. It runs out of bounds at the 30. A 47-yard try for Azar. He's already hit from 51. Again. Long enough, but this one stays wide right. The draw to Williams. To the 35. Bama going with the hurry up. Alabama runs their two-minute drill a lot like NFL teams. They allow Brody Croyle the freedom to do what he wants on the field. He can really get in the flow of the game, as you see right here. Flag down as the pass completed to Zach Fletcher. He takes it into Husky territory. This is the second drive in a row where penalties have really hurt. Foul is holding offense. by the offense. Penalty is 10 yards from the previous spot. Follow repeated the second down. Play clock down now to 20 seconds. 
spotted at the 25-yard line, so one would think now the Tide will simply run out the clock here in the first half. So Bama will head to the locker room, owning a 9-5 lead over a more than spirited Northern Illinois team. Azar set to boot it away. Low line drive kick that Robinson reaches up to field and will bring it out. Takes it up to the 27 yard line, but not surprisingly, there is a flag down. Alabama will get backed up. Foul was an illegal block in the back during the return by the returning team. Penalty is half the distance to the goal, followed by a first down. Deep drop for Coyle. Deep to the far side. Caught. Triandos Luke, his first grab of the night. And it gets Alabama out of a hole. First down, Crimson Tide at the 40. Randy Drew dropping back in coverage and knew that if he, that ball were to be released, it would have resulted in an interception. Punting time for Alabama. Freeland hangs it up high. Sheldon makes the grab at the 18. You see a glimpse of how dangerous he can be as Sheldon darts out of bounds just shy of the 30-yard line. That one complete to the far side. Really gunned that one in to Keith Perry. Another flag comes down. Foul was holding by the defense against an eligible receiver. Foul is 10 yards from the end of the run, followed by a first down. Ten penalties between the two teams. And we're early in the third. Play action for Hawley. Hit as he unloads. Looking for A.J. Harris, and here come the flags. No game on the play. Baldy tries to duck out of trouble, can't do it, unloads the pass, but that, I believe, will be grounding. Doyle Jackson taking a long look, trying to see where that ball went out of bounds. Five flags already here in the third quarter. Back to third and 23, and a sack. Doug Free, the left tackle for Northern Illinois, has absolutely no chance against the speed of Antoine Odom. You see him come off the end there and apply pressure. When he gets in the backfield, he makes it worth his while. Gallagher gets the kick away. Williams will let it roll, and it will come dead right at the 11-yard line. Hopefully we'll get a good punt right here, try to reverse the tables as far as field position. Freeland from his end zone. High, short kick, Sheldon, right at midfield. Takes a shot at the 40. But here are the Huskies starting in Alabama territory for the second time tonight. Turner slides outside, weaving his way through traffic, keeps his feet. Finally steps out of bounds right at the 20-yard line. First down just inside the 20. Turner hit in the backfield but keeps his feet. Powers his way down to about the 12. Aldi into the end zone and it is caught for the touchdown. Chaton Powers makes the grab. And the Huskies have taken the lead. Might have been a hair laid on the delivery and not wanting to run him into anyone. Freeland high, another wobbly kick. Sheldon from his 47. Takes it into Alabama territory. Fourth sack of the night for this Alabama defense. Here's Anthony Gallagher trying to pin Bama deep once more. Williams asks for a fair catch, but has no intention of making that catch. And it will be downed inside the 10. For the 
Quick throw to Williams, circling out of the backfield. Shaw sprints out of bounds right around the 15-yard line. Quick throw again, catch made by Trilandos Luke. Turns and hits upfield. Finally brought down at the 37. What Alabama offense has done though, they've they've driven out of the out of that from being backed up. They have just they've just changed field position. Tide had a fourth and a yard, had to punt. Contact made. I believe Thurman Ward got a piece of Dan Sheldon. Get a three and out if they possibly can and get the ball back to the offense. Turner started up the middle, now breaks it out to the right. Has 10, maybe 11 yards as he rolls out of bounds. Tremendous athletic ability, though. Anthony Gallagher booms this kick away, driving Williams back. He'll let it go. Bounces at the 10 and will be touched down right at the 11-yard line. As Tyler mentioned earlier, on the Buckus watch list to start the season, third and long. Forrest steps up, guns that one, complete to Fletcher. Ridden down. Mike Shula thought there may have been a little too much contact. He did. Freeland to punt it again. Sheldon will let that one go. Out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Turner, the single setback. Calder deals it away to him. Turner takes a couple of licks, runs out of bounds at the 23-yard line. First down, Huskies, and back down to Chris Stewart. Coach Novak in his eighth year at DeKalb as head coach. Turner taking more punishment and taking more Alabama defenders with him as he'll have another first down. Turner again. Upended as he crosses the 40. Derek Pope credited with the tackle. A.J. Harris cuts it up. We'll have the first down on third and short. Tackled right at midfield. Third and a long eight. Aldi rolls, throws deep, and it is caught by Sheldon, and he will score. Not allowing Alabama's short game to catch the ball and run. Third and five. Pass caught. First down. Brandon Greer makes his first catch of the night. You get the feeling Alabama is the one that's had the third and long yardage for the most part of the second half. Deep drop for Croy. Pump fake. Now he's going to try and run it. Eludes one man, but steps out of bounds, I think about a yard or two shy of the first down marker. The tie four for four on fourth downs this year. They need a yard here. Williams gets the handoff. Has the first down and more. He will take it the distance. Touchdown. You can almost feel that the momentum has changed in this game as Sean William awaits the punt. Another beautiful kick by Gallagher that Williams lets go. And thankfully for the Tide, it will reach the end zone. Coyle to throw on first down, but he is sacked. Back at the 14-yard line. And he needs 16 yards for the first down. Coyle goes underneath to Williams. He makes one man miss. Slips another tackle. And we'll move it ahead to the 28-yard line, leaving him about two shy of the first down. Fourth and two. Quick throw. Catch made. First down. Triandos Luke. Cradle that football. Trying to set up the screen to Greer. 
Brandon Greer takes it to the 40-yard line, where it'll be third and a long two for Alabama. Coyle lost the football, able to get it back, but he takes a loss back to the 32-yard line, simply slipped out of his hands. But it now sets up a fourth and 11. Two for two is Alabama converting tonight. Pressure comes, Coyle unloads, it is incomplete. Looking for Triando's loop, but the pressure got there and forced him to unload early. 13-game schedule again this year for the Tide, culminating with the trip to Hawaii. Thanksgiving weekend, Aldi trying to kill a little more time before he will take a knee. And the Huskies will not have to snap it again. Northern Illinois comes to Tuscaloosa. A heavy underdog, but will leave with a 19-16 win over Alabama. The first win over a Southeastern Conference team. For the Huskies, Joe Novak's squad improves to 3-0 on the season. Mike Shula sees his team fall to 2-2. Two and two. Joe Kynes, the defensive coordinator for the Tide. His group had his hands full tonight with Michael Turner and company, and Bama comes up just a little bit short. We'll wrap it up when we come back.